How do you nourish your creative side? It's, um, it's really important if you're going to be being an artist, being a creative, being a musician, a writer, playwright, um, what do you do? It, we all have creative sides and if you're expecting yourself to make work without actually nourishing your creative well-being, it's, it's going to dry up. It's not going to work very well. This is Val Gilman with Taproot Arts and Insight. I'm a coach for artists and creatives and I'm here in the woods nourishing my creative side. Um, I love being in these woods and uh, it energizes my body while I walk and energizes my mind while I think um, and I let myself really explore thoughts in here. But the other thing I'm doing is I'm looking and it's really important that I stop and engage with the beauty that I see around me. It changes every day. So I want to show you one thing. That lichen, oh, I just can't get enough of it. I took some photos the other day with lichen and snow. I hope to post those. Um, the snow has melted off now, so it's very different. Anyway, this is Val Gilman. I hope you enjoy the idea that you get to nourish your creative side, and you should nourish your creative side every day if you can. The should is not so good, but um, what are you doing? I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear what nourishes you and your creative juices. So. Um, comment below, forward this to other people, and certainly sign up to my, follow my uh, YouTube or actually there's a link for my newsletter which will send, I'll send out just my best ones on a regular basis. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.